Are you preparing for a jewelry CAD designer interview and need help with possible questions and answers? You've come to the right place. This video is your one-stop guide to tackling those tough interview questions with confidence and grace. The role of a jewelry CAD designer is a unique blend of creativity and technical skill, and it's important to convey your strengths in both areas during your interview. We will be delving into 10 common questions that you might face and providing suggested answers to help you shine. These questions range from your experience with CAD software to how you balance creativity with practicality to how you approach collaboration and handle tight deadlines. Navigating these subjects with ease can set you apart from the competition. Understanding these questions and how to answer them can be the key to acing your interview. Scene script. Let's dive right into the first three questions. First up, the interviewer might ask about your experience with jewelry CAD design software. A suggested response could be, I have extensive experience using software like Rhino, Matrix, and JewelCAD. In my previous role, I successfully utilized these tools to create intricate and detailed jewelry designs, meeting both aesthetic and technical requirements. Being able to convey your proficiency with CAD software is critical. It shows your technical competency and your ability to transform abstract concepts into beautiful pieces of jewelry. Next, they might inquire about your approach when creating custom pieces for clients. Your response could be, I begin by thoroughly understanding the client's vision and preferences. I then translate those ideas into digital designs, keeping close communication with the client throughout the process to ensure the final product meets their expectations. This answer emphasizes your ability to interpret client needs, your knack for communication, and your dedication to delivering designs that resonate with the client's vision. It's all about making the client's dream a tangible reality. The third question may revolve around your techniques for staying updated on the latest trends and technologies in jewelry design. A good response could be, I regularly attend industry conferences, participate in online forums, and subscribe to design publications. This allows me to stay informed about emerging trends, materials, and advancements in jewelry design technology. This response demonstrates your proactiveness in staying current and your commitment to continuous learning. It shows that you're not just a designer, but also a student of the craft, always seeking to improve and innovate. Remember, these answers should be tailored to your own experiences and skills. Each question is an opportunity to showcase your strengths, share your experiences, and express your passion for jewelry design. So when preparing for your interview, reflect on your journey, your accomplishments, and your growth as a CAD designer. Craft your answers in a way that authentically represents your journey and aligns with the role you're applying for. Moving on to the next set of questions. Let's delve into how you can discuss your ability to navigate design challenges. A common question you might encounter is, can you provide an example of a challenging design project you worked on and how you overcame obstacles? A suggested answer could be, I once worked on a project with complex geometric patterns. To overcome challenges, I collaborated closely with the client, made iterative adjustments, and leveraged my expertise in CAD software to ensure precision and accuracy in the final design. Next, interviewers often want to assess your ability to balance creativity with practicality. So when asked, how do you balance creativity with practicality when designing jewelry? You might respond, I believe in finding a harmonious balance between creativity and practicality. While I strive to bring unique and innovative designs, I also ensure that the jewelry is feasible for production, considering factors such as structural integrity and manufacturing processes. Quality control is another crucial aspect of the job, and you might be asked, Describe your process for quality control and ensuring the accuracy of your CAD models. A possible response could be, I have a meticulous approach to quality control. After completing a design, I thoroughly review it for accuracy, paying attention to dimensions and details. I also collaborate with the production team to address any potential issues before finalizing the design. These questions and their suggested answers showcase your problem-solving skills, creativity, and attention to detail, key qualities for a successful jewelry CAD designer. Remember, 
The goal here is not just to provide a rehearsed answer, but to weave in experiences and examples that demonstrate your skills and abilities in real-world situations. These questions are designed to showcase your problem-solving skills and attention to detail. In the final segment, we will cover the remaining questions. Let's dive into the seventh question. How do you handle tight deadlines in the design process? A potential answer could be, I am accustomed to working under pressure and tight deadlines. To ensure efficiency, I prioritize tasks, maintain open communication with stakeholders, and use my experience to streamline the design process without compromising quality. Next, we have the eighth question. Can you discuss your knowledge of different materials commonly used in jewelry design and how they influence your designs? You might want to answer like this. I have a comprehensive understanding of various materials such as gold, silver, platinum, and gemstones. This knowledge allows me to adapt my designs to suit the unique characteristics and constraints of each material, ensuring both aesthetic appeal and structural integrity. Moving on to question number nine. How do you approach collaborating with other team members, such as gemologists or manufacturing specialists during the design process? A good answer could be, Collaboration is crucial in jewelry design. I actively engage with team members, leveraging their expertise to enhance the overall design. For example, working with gemologists ensures that gem placements align with both design aesthetics and gemological considerations. Finally, we arrive at question 10. Can you share an example of a design that received positive feedback or recognition and what elements contributed to its success? A winning response might be, I designed a bespoke engagement ring that received acclaim for its unique blend of classic and contemporary elements. The success was attributed to the harmonious balance of design aesthetics, craftsmanship, and the client's preferences. These questions give you an opportunity to highlight your ability to work under pressure, your material knowledge, and your teamwork skills. That wraps up the 10 common interview questions for a jewelry CAD designer. We've covered everything from software proficiency understanding client needs, staying updated on trends, tackling challenging projects, balancing creativity with practicality, maintaining quality control, handling deadlines, material knowledge, team collaboration, to sharing a successful design. Each point emphasizes the importance of preparation when stepping into an interview. These questions provide a comprehensive view of what you might expect and how to frame your responses. Remember, preparation is key. Good luck with your interview.